Hey everyone, it's Eric with FirearmTutorials.com and today we're going to talk about different barrel threadings per caliber. So I had a question come across from NCO Tate asking if you have a different caliber, does it use a different thread pitch? Uh, the answer is yes. Depending on the caliber, there's at least two, sometimes three different thread pitches depending on the origin of the uh, barrel or uh, device you're putting on the end of the muzzle. You can see here I've got some suppressor pistons, but I'll go ahead and just quickly go through these so you can get a, a look at the different types of threads per caliber. On the left here, I've got uh, a couple 9mm barrels. This is from the Masterpiece Arms 9mm, uh, and then I've got an HK barrel. So with this guy, it's using the 0.5 or 1 half by 28. Some people call it 0.5, some people call it 1 half. So it's either 0.5 by 28 or 1 half by 28. This is a US threading, obviously, designated in inches. Um, so let's go ahead and take a closer look at it. Okay, so if we look at these threads, you see that there's a lot of them and they're pretty fine. And if we look at the actual suppressor piston, you can see the threads in there. Now, this follows the standard lefty loosey, righty tighty. You can see on the piston here, it actually shows us the orientation, which is actually pretty cool because as we go through here, you'll see that it's not always the case. So you see when I screw it on here, it's gonna go right down basically to the bottom of the threads and it's locked tight. So if I had a suppressor on this piston, we'd be ready to rock and roll. So now looking at the HK barrel, you'll notice that there's not near as many threads and they seem to be a little larger in size. See if I put them side by side here. Um, now this is what's called 13 and a half by one. Uh, these are metric threads. So 13 and a half by one, it's actually technically left hand, which means righty tighty doesn't work. We have to go to the left in order to tighten this guy. And there we are, it's locked up, ready to go. So with these barrels specifically, the HK ones, because of the way they're made, they're cold hammer forged barrels. These threads are actually so hard, they're just as hard as the rest of the barrel, that you really don't have a need to put a thread protector on these. Um, just because of the way that they're made, you'd really have to do something drastic to mess up these threads to where you wouldn't be able to screw anything on them. Um, also, if I were ever in a situation where I were to cross thread these, which is still very difficult, the piston would actually become thrust, would actually become cross threaded before the barrel does, because again, the, the threads on this barrel are just so much harder than this piston. Okay, so moving on to the 45 ACP, um, I kind of did this backwards. So we'll start with the German barrel. Again, this is another HK barrel from a USP Tactical. So this is a little bit larger than a, uh, four, uh, than a nine millimeter. So we're looking at 16 by one left hand instead of 13 by one metric threads again. This is gonna look very similar to the threads I just showed you. They're just obviously a little, uh, a little larger and circumference. Um, same deal with these, they screw on. And again, this is a left hand, so we're gonna have to go opposite way that we would with the US made version to get it tight. Obviously it locks up there, we'd be ready to go. Uh, I found that with the uh, German ones, there's not near as much turning, with the, or at least with the metric ones, versus this. So this is the US version, so this is, uh, give you a look at this. This is a 0.578 by 28. And you'll see that this barrel actually has a lot more threads than the HK one. Zoom in on this for you. So there you can see there's a pretty big difference. And with this, when we go to put the, put the piston on, we have to do a lot more turning. Now the thing that's interesting about this is, um, so there it's locked up. So that's basically the US versus the metric threading. Now something else I wanna talk about before we go. Um, 
I've got two different barrels here, which are both threaded in one half by 28. So we've got the, uh, on the left, we've got the nine millimeter, which we've already seen. And on the right, this is actually 223. So this is an AR-15 barrel. Now, one of the important things to notice here is that since the threading is the same, obviously anything that's one half by 28 will go on there. But what you don't want to do is use uh, some type of muzzle device, say a flash hider. So if we use a 223 flash hider, obviously this will fit on there. But if we were to put this on a nine millimeter, the hole at the end of this flash hider is actually not big enough to fit a nine millimeter round through. I can demonstrate that real quick. So, you know, if we take a 223 bullet, boom, it drops right through there. If we take a nine millimeter bullet, see it doesn't fit. So you have to be very careful about that. Obviously, if I were to screw this on here and fire around, it would not be a good day. Another thing to notice with these thread pitches is that while they are the same uh, thread pitch, you'll notice that the amount of threading is also different. So you've got a little bit more threading on this AR barrel. That's usually because the flash hiders that go on this have a much deeper threading. Now let's say we were to put uh, one of these suppressor pistons on here, which is obviously meant to go on the shorter threads. If we put it on here, it's going to fit. And since the uh, nine millimeter is bigger, sometimes it's hard to get these started. Since the nine millimeter is bigger, you know, we don't have any problem shooting a 223 through this, but you see when I screw the piston on there, it bottoms out because the threads aren't deep enough to go all the way to the uh, shoulder of the barrel. So in that case, yeah, that's where you're kind of expected to use, you know, a, a bunch of shims or a crush washer, a peel washer or whatever. So something else to be aware of. Now I'm going to throw you guys a little bit of a curveball here. Since we already talked about the HK barrels, um, let's go back to this guy. So the USP 45 tactical barrel, like I said, let me find the piston for it. That was uh, 16 and a half. Of course, it's going to be the last one I try. Okay. So 16 and a half by one left hand, right? So we screw this guy on, follow the arrow. It goes on just fine, right? So I'm going to grab another HK barrel, right? Looks exactly the same. Let's go ahead and try and put it on. We'll follow this on arrow. And it is not going on. So what's the deal? We try to go the other way. That's not going on either. This is the only case I found of this where there's a 16 by one right hand and a left hand piston. As far as I know, the Mark 23, this is, this is actually a Mark 23 barrel, but the Mark 23, to my knowledge, is the only gun that uses a 16 and a half by one right hand thread. Anytime I've seen this particular piston advertised, it always says uh, Mark 23. It never says anything else. So. One of those rare cases, like I said, when you've got all of these different pistons, you get used to turning them left or right. So I like that um, AAC put the little uh, direction arrow in here. So that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching.